गुड डे स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक टू दी नंबर लैंड टूडे टॉपिक लूज इज स्मॉल बट इट्स अ पिलर ऑफ एलजेवरा द लॉज ऑफ इंडाइसिस यू विल सी हाउ दीज सिंपल पावर्स कंट्रोल एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम सिंप्लीफाइंग एक्सप्रेशन टू एक्सपोनशियल ग्रोथ लेट्स बिगेन नंबर वन मीनिंग ऑफ इंडेक्स और एक्सपोनेंट द इंडेक्स और पावर tell us how many times a number is multiplied by itself for example 2 raised to power 4 it means 2 multiply 4 times here 4 is the index of Now I am going to explain you the basic law of indices. Number one, the product law. For example, a raised to power m is multiplied by a raised to power n. What we will do? We will add the powers. When base is same, we add the powers m plus n. If there is two raised to power three or two raised to power four, if we multiply them, we will write base. Bases are the same, so two and three plus four, seven. Two raised to power seven is the answer. Now number two is quotient law or subtract the power. For example, I have a mm, ratio like this: a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n. What I will do? I will write a base once and then m minus n. Got it? Number three is power of the power. For example, we have a raised to power m, and the whole power is n. What I will do? I will do the powers as a product, like a raised to power m into n. Got it? Now number four is zero index. Anything to power zero, it's equal to one. For example, I have one raised to power zero. It's equal to one. Two raised to power zero. It's equal to one. Three raised to power zero. It's equal to one, and so on. Any number, anything that is power zero, it's equal to one. Twelve, thirteen, nine, eight, ten, anything. Now number five is negative index or reciprocal law. For example, if I have a number. With a power minus a raised to power minus m minus n minus one two three so on anything. So what we can do it? We will write it as one over one raised to power m. To make a negative power positive, when we write it in a division form. Got it? Now number six six fractional index or root form. For example, I have something. Uh, for example, a raised to power one over n. So what I will write? I can write it is a square root of two, three, n, so on. A raised to power one over n is equal to a square root of n. Got it? Now I have a case where root and powers are comes together. For example, a raised to power m divided by n, right? So how can we write one over nth is as a square root, and square root of n and m that is multiplying the power. We can write it as the whole power m. Look at on the screen for more explanation. Now, what is the real life link? Growth of the bacteria, money, and population. Exponential law we use for the computer science. Memory doubles when we want to double the memory, and in physics, where inverse square law is applied. Okay, now look at on the screen. I am uh, sorry. Look at on the screen. I am solving here a problem of combined powers. Combined examples where roots, square root, all are involving. So I am solving it step by step. Screen. Now, what is the learning outcome? 
After this lecture, students can apply all seven laws of indices correctly. Simplify expressions with positive, negative and fractional powers. Connect exponent to growth and decay. Build confidence for algebraic multiplications in future calculus topics. So now, powers are in your power. Keep practicing the index laws. They will simplify everything you face next. In the next lecture, we will move to search and rationalization, another exciting part of the algebra. This is the number land where numbers come alive.